Yep. Right, this is to test the AOS 7200BX the smart safe behavior. This servo is plugged into the throttle channel and is currently in the fail safe position. This DXA has currently got the throttle on 100% because I've got idle 2 on. So I'm full throttle and I power it up. And it takes 12 seconds for the to initialize. Right, so now I've got cyclic control, but the throttle position is not going to move because it's not the smart safe has not enabled it yet. So now I go to monitor. Right, and I drop my throttle to 79%, still not responding, and I drop it to minus 25, which is 40% throttle curve, still not responding. Now I move it down, and it doesn't move until 54% down. Now the throttle's moving. I'm going to go to 100% throttle. Right now to test the fail safe, I now turn the. I've got all the warnings disabled on the DX8, so I'm full throttle in idle 2, which is 100%. I turn the transmitter off, it goes into radio hold, it'll go to fail safe, then I turn it back on, it'll come out of radio hold and it'll go straight back to full throttle. So that's a telemetry warning. So this shows that I've still got a throttle control. Um, so radio hold doesn't turn smart safe on. The option, the other way is a brownout, which again I can simulate by just unplugging the power and plugging it back in again. And what this tells me is if I'm moving the transmitter or the helicopter, the uh, I can't get any cyclic control. There's no initialization from the AL7200BX. If I stop moving the helicopter but keep moving the stick, it won't initialize. If I stop moving the stick but move the helicopter, oh, it's just started because it was still, it did that first. But either way, the only, for it to initialize, the helicopter and the sticks have to be stationary for about 12 seconds, which isn't really going to happen in flight. That's it.